everyone this is the second video in the series of web scrapping if you have not seen the first one i highly recommend you to check that out link is given in the description section now coming back over here in this video we will be going through this particular page this is a page which we're gonna do scrapping i mean this will be a very basic one right so that in the beginning we could understand the basic of these things right so this page is based on the html scripts or maybe codes or text whatever you want to say that's based on this thing which is coming from the official document of this beautiful soup right so this is the thing which we're gonna scrap today and we're gonna bring that in form of data frame let me try to give you uh, understanding of this thing right so here is that particular page which we are planning to scrap right so if you observe over here this particular text is nothing but heading it's a heading thing okay or maybe you can say it's a title all right this entire part will be referred as paragraph all right and if you see this all text apparently you can see that these are nothing but urls all right so we gonna scrap this whole data and put it in form of a table so if you have a look at its html tag that looks something like this all right and after scrapping we want to make a data frame which should look something like this so in title if you see the same heading is repeated thrice so this is intentionally i have done it it's not necessary that it is written three times in the data now here we have paragraphs two paragraphs this is something which has came in paragraph as well uh, which we will understand as we progress why it's happening okay now over here you can see the three urls have been stored now before we proceed further if you are someone who already have very good understanding of html then it's fantastic if not then still it's gonna be fine you are just gonna follow the video all right so to do this kind of scrapping what we need to understand first is html tree so how does the html tag tree work right so html is the tag which is the topmost one then this html ta tag has two branches one is head the other one is body then further head would have these three sub branches and body would have these three sub branches and so on it will follow so if you want to grab this particular element from the given html script what you need to do is you need to start from here go in html main tag then fetch this body and then from there you can fetch this h1 right so this is on the primary stage as we advance ourselves in this thing we would have scenarios where we can directly fetch this particular thing so this is how the html tree works now let me take you to the jupyter notebook and try to show you try to show you how can we achieve this thing how can we make the data frame this kind of data frame which we were expecting right so i will take you to the jupyter notebook directly over here here is the Jupyter notebook and here to make it simple to keep it simple I have placed the HTML part just right over here and I'm storing it in this variable which is called test page now what I'm gonna do is first thing which we do in beautiful soap all right before I take over there first let me give you a overview once again here are the all required modules which i have imported i have also imported the pandas because at the end i have to make a pandas data frame now over here first thing which we're gonna do is we're gonna do the parsing of this html script right how can we do that for that we're gonna say bs bs is nothing but an alias which i have given for beautiful soup if you can see over here so I'm going to say beautiful soup and in that I'm going to supply my page 
that means the HTML script and in that I'm going to supply the parser there are different parsers one is HTML we as we progress we will see the others and how does it work we will also see at some point of time okay now when you just do this then this is what we get all right now this is a arranged form of our HTML this is the past HTML data okay now we're gonna store this in a variable let's call that soup and let's print this soup once again over here so here we got the soup now the next thing comes we will in in our pandas data frame we require three things all right so if I have to give you that take you over here we first need title then p string means paragraph strings and then urls these three th because primarily these three things are the only thing which is available in this page okay so let's see let's first try to identify the title where the art title is so if you see the title is just right over here this is this title is under head and head is under html if you remember few minutes back we just saw the HTML tree so this is how the tree is this is how we are traveling the tree okay now let's try to fetch this particular string okay how are we gonna do that so first this object which we have or the, maybe the variable you can say in that what we have is HTML now let's hit enter so in this particular variable whatever HTML we had we got over here now in that we have head so just put it over here we had only one heading so that we got over here now out of head we need to take the title so let's take title so title we got this right now out of title we want to take text so text is here now we got the first thing which we wanted over here this title we got this thing this was the long way we traveled from top to t to this particular part if you want you can directly do this thing what is that we can say soup dot title and dot text we can do this as well so we directly get this thing now you can also say why to say text why to say title why can't we say text directly let's try that also okay now if you see so in this removing the HTML tags all the text you will get all together so you won't be able to bifurcate them according to their categories so that's where as per their taggings or categories we have to keep them separate so that's where we need to fetch them according to their taggings right now I will just store this in a variable called title and I will print it out over here so this is done next thing which comes is fetching the paragraph right so again we're gonna say soup dot now if you see this particular string so there are two paragraphs this P represents to the paragraph so there are two paragraphs one starts from here and ends here so whenever it ends it is ended with a forward slash right it starts with without any slash and ends with a forward slash that's that's common for all the tags in HTML so this is the first paragraph and in the second paragraph we have all these things stored so we will pick both of these two paragraphs let's see how can we do that so the long way is we go by each branch of this HTML short way is we directly find the paragraph so he gave us the first paragraph right but our problems our problem statement is to get all the paragraphs so how can we get that and out of that paragraph we want to fetch text only so p dot text we can say so here we got the text as well right so how can we get all the paragraphs oh sorry oh yeah all the paragraphs how can we get that so for that what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a blank list first paragraphs equals to this blank list and then we're gonna say for para in this all right so what we will do is let me show you one more feature of beautiful soup right so here it was able to just find if you do 
soup.p it is giving you just one paragraph right but there is another feature which is called find all this is the function or method you can say and if you put p inside that it will give you both of the two paragraphs right and out of these two paragraph we can fetch the text so what we're gonna say is we're gonna say for para in this and over here we will say para dot text okay and this text let's just first run this and we're gonna be appending this particular text in this particular list okay let me just show it to you first if this is working as per the expectation or not right so if you see over here we got all the paragraphs right so this is working well so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say paragraphs paragraphs dot append and then here we will just start the bracket and then at the end we are gonna print that paragraphs right so now if you see in this particular list we got two paragraphs or in fact three paragraphs not two in the third one we have this dot right so this particular list is also created next thing which we're gonna do is we're gonna find the URL how can we find the URL now let's again go back to this thing and if you notice over here these are the URLs these are the these are the URLs stored in this particular variable which is called href hyperlink reference you can say we will discuss it as we progress in the video further now this is part of tag a right so wherever you get tag a that means it will be containing it would have a URL into it right so let's try to find that so I'm going to take you direct to that right so what we're gonna do is soup dot a and let's find that so here it gave you the first URL out of this what we need to get is we need to get text is it no we don't want text what we want is we want to get this particular tag right so to get this thing how can we wh what is it that we can do right so for that what we should be doing over here is let's say soup dot find all and in that what we're gonna do is say a all right and here let's see we got all the three URLs right now we need to iterate through each of these URLs and pick only this part right let's try to do that okay but before that I'll create a blank list and over here I'm just going to say you sorry for link in this and here I would say link dot get get is another method over here I will pick this particular thing h r e f all right and let's try to print this let's see what do you think is it going to work let's see if this works or gives the error here yeah, it, it just worked right this is exactly what we want now all that we need to do is just append this particular thing into the URL URL dot append we're gonna say append and then just enclose this into the bracket and just print this now here we got all the three URLs now this is how you just saw how using the tags we managed to fetch the actual content now the next problem statement comes is storing this in data frame so for that what i will do is i'll quickly create a dictionary first and to create the dictionary what i gonna say is paragraphs the first key which i would have is paragraphs and in that i'm going to store whatever is there in this paragraph and then i just hope that you are comfortable with the dictionary and all because this is something which we learned in the very beginning itself right and let's print this here we got our dictionary now after this i will create a pandas data from data frame basis on this and that i'm going to say uh, let, let's let's call it uh, uh, what is it that we can say story let's say story and equals to pd dot data frame and inside that what we're gonna do is we're gonna supply data all right let's print this as well over here oh we got it right 
so here we got two variables now there is one problem we are missing the title right so i will just put title also over here right and then we are gonna check this out Ooh, we got that title as well now we want to have title in the first and then rest of the things in that order right so we will be doing sorting of this thing we will just do a sort sort index we all know that we use this function to sort the columns and we will use sort underscore values to sort the rows and here we just gonna say axis equals to one and ascending equals to false so that we could have title at the first and we will just print this who what happened title didn't come at the beginning let me just see it here we got it url at the beginning and let's see what happens ascending equals to false access equals to one oops there seem to have something gone wrong Story dot sort index. No, no, this is my bad. All right. So th by alphabetic order, this is correct, right? So let me just try to remove this and then see. Now this is paragraph is going to be in the beginning. Alphabetically, it's going to be this way only. So if you want to arrange it, we're gonna arrange by column. But I think it's just gonna be fine, right? We can we can live with this. So you just saw how did we manage to scrap the data scrap scrap the actual content using the html tags now in the upcoming videos we will go through more advanced function and we will try to understand these things in more detail i just hope that it was clear to you i would be providing link of this particular thing in the description i highly recommend you or encourage you to go through this and try to practice this if you don't practice you are not going to learn anything all right wish you very Happy learning and all the best. Thank you very much for watching the video.